Hello, if you're new here, my name is Stella Luca and I'm passionate about family and work-life balance. Now, we are still on our topic, African parenting style versus affection to children. And today, we are on the last part of the video where we will talk about how to effectively show affection to our children. Now listen, as a mother, I understand quite well that children sometimes will do things that would push you to the limit and will make one to commit, you know, a crime. However, my advice to you when you reach at that point would be to calm down and turn to God, the person who gave us the children as a reward. Let's go to a Bible scripture in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 34. It says, Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into bounds, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. This verse is telling us that we don't have to worry about anything. If God can feed the bird, what more can he do to us, the people, the human beings that he created in his own image? Pardon me, I am a Christian, and in everything that I do, uh, I am guided by the principles of the Bible, and the fact that the Bible tells us that children are from God and they are a reward, Passed to humankind, it is important that we follow what he has told us to do. In the first part of this video, I mentioned that God operates on three principles, which is faith, hope, and love. And if we are to raise our children in the right way, then we have to adapt what God is using and follow it for our parenting business. With that said, let us jump right into the six effective way of how to show affection to our children. Number one, let us speak softly and gently to our children. The way we speak to our children will determine how they will relate with other people in future. Notice, people who are arrogant, People who are bitter, they carry around, they move around with a lot of baggage. You see that they are troubled, but you do not know what the problem is. It's because they are used to uh, shouting in the house, yelling, misunderstanding, being displayed in their presence. So they pick it up and it becomes the, their, their, their way of living. So let's avoid uh, negative speech. To our children let's avoid saying negative things to our children rather let us talk to them gently graciously for the girl so that they will grow to be humble and uh, lovable to others number two will be hugs and kisses <sighs> when I mention this I feel guilty because I'm having trouble relating that way to my children to show affection to my children through touch i feel i am struggling now that i know that it is a necessity that it's necessary to do it to our children i do it but it doesn't come to me naturally so as africans i know most of the majority of us are not used to you know hugs and kisses those things but they are important the scientists say when people hug it helps the body produce the feel-good hormone, which is called dopamine. So as you, you hug your children, it helps them produce that hormone more, and they become lovable, and they live well, and they live stress-free. So it is important that we hug and kiss our children more. Just touch them as you pass. Just touch them and, and tell them that you love them. That is an effective way of showing affection to our children. Number three is to discipline with love. Parents, African parents, please 
let us learn to let our children make mistakes because that way they will learn to figure out how to do it right. Notice, there are children out there who do not take decisions. They never take initiative in doing something. Why? Because they are afraid of making mistakes. I am one of them. As I was growing up, I broke a lot of things and for that reason, I reached a point where I am afraid of touching or doing anything because I'm afraid of making mistakes to avoid being beaten. So let's learn to let our children give the space, give them that room and freedom. When they go wrong, guide them. Guide them to go right, but let them learn to do things their own way until they figure out how to do it right. Yeah? So let's discipline them with love. Another way of how to effectively show affection to our children is to create a stable home. In the first video, I spoke about what some of the researchers mentioned about love to children. Uh, Erica Lambach mentioned in her article, Parenting Advice, that the most valuable gifts a parent or any other person can give a child is love, is stable home, and acceptance. So once we do that, we are directly or indirectly showing uh, a, a affection to our children in a way that they will feel accepted, they will feel loved, and they will have security. They will be assured of their well-being in that family. So, let us make sure we avoid quarrels and, and exchange of negative words and an abuse, toxic environment. Let us avoid it because it will help our children to feel loved, accepted, and feel secure of their well-being that is the fourth one if i'm not mistaken yes the fourth one the fifth one is to involve children in the family decision making when we are doing a ceremony when we are planning to travel when we are planning or on maybe relocating and things like that things that would require opinion of different people that include the children also ask their opinion so that they learn to voice their own opinion this thing of african saying children are children and they do not know children have opinion ask if what they're saying doesn't make sense then guide them through so that you can make sense together so learn to involve children in decision making what you're going to do how you're going to do it ask their opinion and hear what they say so that they will feel part of that family, they will feel accepted and they feel a sense of belonging. That way, you are effectively showing affection to your child. The sixth one is to spend some time and celebrate important uh, special days together. For those of us who work very far from home, who rarely stays home, when you get home, make it a point to show your children that you love them by spending some time with them, find out what they are doing, get involved in what they are doing, show them, uh, instill in them the act of kindness by taking them, let's say, to the orphanage, uh, go visit your old parents, and eh? give back to the community. You are teaching them how to love people, how to give back, and definitely at this point you are effectively teaching them and showing them how to love the right way. Another important thing that I never mentioned here as, as, as I was discussing is to not forget involving God. Involve God in this uh, in parenting business because he gave you these children as a reward. When you feel stuck, go back to him for guidance, pray over your children, bless your children, speak positively over your children. Avoid negative speech because this tongue has power. If you speak negatively to your children, parents, we are used to abusing and calling our children names. You look like baboon, you dog, you ugly thing. Imagine what you tell your children. You stupid, you will amount to nothing. You hopeless, get away, stupid, idiot. They become that that you are prophesying over them. So avoid them, involve God, 
and ask God for guidance and pray over your children so that we, they will be okay and they will feel your love and at the same time that will be the effective way of showing love to your children if you have stayed with me this long especially if you have watched part one and part two of this video i want to appreciate you the same way i wish that you would subscribe like share with other people so that it will encourage me so that i can create more of this kind of content if we stand together as African parents, imagine we will teach our children, we will change our continent and in the long term we will change the whole world and make it a better place. Thank you very much. Until then, stay blessed and bye.